Alright guys, so in this video what I'm going to do is a quick demonstration on an alternative approach from using the disk utility if you're experiencing issues with erasing your SD drive or trying to reformat that sort of thing. Um, I have in front of me my SD drive um, and obviously I'm just going to connect it now. I should then see it within the disk utility. Um, I have just uh, reformatted this but in the event that if you press erase and it's unable to unmount or reformat, um, you'll get this particular issue. So an alternative approach is to use the uh, command line instead of just using the, uh, the nice GUI representation. So how you do that is um, you need to go into Applications, Utilities, and Terminal. Uh, and within here, uh, you essentially using the, the, the functionality in the background um, and you're just bypassing um, yeah, the, the actual visual representation. So um, the, the command that you want to use is disutil. Um, after that, you want to press list. This will list all the hard drives uh, that's available for you. So um, if, I, uh, if I unmount or I eject, uh, so my disk drive is uh, my SD card is now out of my computer. When I run that, you can see it's disappeared. It's actually called uh, untitled, um, mainly because I've just reformatted it. So if I plug it in uh, and it pops up again, I just do a clear, you'll see it pop up. So um, one thing that you need to note that this is disk one. Um, I don't want to dry, uh, I don't want to reform my, my, uh, my Mac. Uh, hard drive. So um, make sure it's imperative. It's imperative to make sure that you know you're using the right disk. So once you've done that, uh, if you do a, a disk util um, on a raised disk, um, the next part, uh, next part, um, is is not too relevant because once you've done this, you can then use the GUI. But I'm doing a FAT32. Uh, format for the hard drive. Uh, if I give it a, a name, so in this case it's called no name, and then MBR format, and then dev this one, which corresponds to my hard drive, uh, my SD drive further. Uh, so once I'm happy with that, click enter, and then it'll unmount and reformat for you. So now you can see it's actually uh, under a new name. Uh, if I get info, uh, you should see it's completely available. I've got a 32 gig SD drive. And then once you go into disk utility again, uh, I should be able to unmount and erase uh, and then mount the disk again. So pretty simple. Hope that helps. Um, took me a little bit of time, but, um, but yeah, it seemed to work for me. Okay, guys, thanks.